guys, welcome back. It is now April and we have got to put our bee boxes together. Well, not necessarily bee boxes, but our supers. And so this is a new one that we have going on. Brooke is in the barn putting them together. And the girls and I are out here. They're painting the supers. And I am taking these old nasty ones apart, cleaning them up and putting new foundation in. And so what is a super? A super is where honeybees store excess honey. And so we have enough deep frames and deep boxes. But last year our bees split three times. So we have three hives, or three colonies, and um, and we had a really mild winter. And so bees don't wait for you. And so we don't want to have any more swarms and we don't want to have to go catch them. We want to make sure that we're on top of it and taking care of them. And it's calling for, oh, the weather's gonna be like in the 70s this week. So we want to make sure we have everything ready so that when we do a hive inspection this week um, and check them, that we have these supers ready to go and um, all the supplies ready. Because normally on our homestead, it's usually, Oh my word. It's usually checking them and then like, oh my word, we have to go buy this stuff or get it ready. Um, so we're trying to do things in advance, if that makes sense. Um, so let me show you how we put these together and clean them up. We need one, two. We had a majority of our um, frames, our super frames, already made, but we needed how many more? Six. So we had three frame or three beehives. We were gonna get one honey super on each of them. Right. So to fill out those the three boxes that we're putting together, we needed to create a few more frames. And so we had the supplies. Already on hand, Brooke's putting them together while I take care of cleaning up these <laughs> really dirty ones. So we ordered from Man Lake. They're here in Pennsylvania. They're a local Pennsylvania company. Awesome company. Yeah, really so great company. We got all the little small nails. You can see mm -hmm. like all the different nails. We have found that these staples they're just galvanized little staples are so much faster and hold the box together better. You just can run the staple in and I don't know, if you want to sit by a wood stove and staple little nails in, it would be fun. Yeah, if you have the time and you want to like take it easy and slow or if you want to get the job done. So, very recommended. And we have used wood glue around here before. The prop list has glued these together. But using the wooden frames, I like the staples better. Just because when you go to pry them out with, or when you the go to separate them. tool? <laughs> yeah, when you go to pry these out. You will get so frustrated that this connection right here breaks. Mm -hmm. Like you, if you don't separate them correctly or depends how long it's been since you've been in your bee box, this connection will break very easily. And so you can pry pry and then if you just have one little nail in there, it, the whole section just sits in and you end up prying this top bar just so you, straight off. So you're saying the nail gun is a stronger hold. Right, you have, I, unless you, I guess you put two nails in there. Yeah, but. okay. And let me show you what propolis is um, because that's one thing you wanna clean off when you're cleaning off the old frames. Uh, and so this is the propolis. So just like on that old one, um, see how like this is propolis and this is what do they, um, it's like glue and this is what they, you know, Pretty much 
um, build their hives out of. And this this is one thing that you need your hive tool for, to really just pry that open, uh, pry that apart so that you can lift out um, any, you wouldn't really wanna lift out well, I guess you do. You wanna lift out the supers to see, okay, how much room do they have um, in, their, in their supers? Do we need to add another super? So you lift this out. You would also use it to lift out any um, deep frames to see, okay, is the queen in there? Is she laying brood? Do, am I seeing um, new eggs, new larva? And then you know, you know when you're doing a hive check. So this just kinda caps that out. But when, right now, I'm. I am cleaning these nasty frames up. And so what I'm doing is using the high tool to just take all that excess. And honestly, I would save this. I have a whole bucket full for making wax. You can if you want to, I just haven't. So I'm cleaning this, this all up because it's less for the bees, the honeybees to do. So I'm cleaning it up for them. And then the other thing I'm doing is taking out the little lath that's in there that actually holds the foundation in. And so let me show you what that looks like. Okay. I'll let the paint off my hands, but um, I wasn't thinking snack. I was doing a project and I put two handprints on it and I, it just looks terrible. It's gonna look amazing, I'm sure. The bees will love it. So this is the bees will care. a cleaned up super. And this is a new foundation. So this is made out of beeswax, and it has these little um, pieces of wire just to keep it, just to keep it supported. And I cleaned it, the last one up, and I'll show you how I'm going to clean this other one up. And um, so this one's ready to go. And so this is wax foundation that we get from Man Lake. Last year at the end of the season, I was telling you, you know, we had three swarms. We had, you know, our, our hive split three times. So we had to collect those swarms. They didn't go far. They were right here in our lilac bushes. And um, we were kind of scrambling. And so we asked our bee friends, we asked, um, yeah, we asked our bee friends, like, hey, do you have any extra deeps? Do you have any extra supers? And then at the end of the season, our local hardware store had bee boxes on sale and so we snagged them one of them was a super and they were already put together um there is plastic foundation we don't care for that i mean it is super durable but we definitely prefer the more natural beeswax foundation but so these it were takes a little longer for them to grow a foundation on them mm -hmm. they you really have to get it sprayed down with honey water mm -hmm. or yeah just get a really good spray of honey water on it honey water or sugar water uh, honey Doesn't water is the best okay. for them to actually uh, bring accept that, it. Yeah, accept okay. it into their into their home. Okay. But they do accept it. And once it's accepted, it's beautiful because it's yeah good for it's many years. Super durable. But yeah, so that's okay. Thanks, babe, for sharing the tip. I didn't know that. He's the bee man and I'm learning. I've wanted to learn how to do this and every every year I'm like, I'm gonna do this. There's just something about bees flying around you. I, I freak out. But I am happy to help put these things together. So this one was already put together. The boxes were put together. Um, we just had to paint them. So these are ready to go. We're just cleaning up those old those old foundations, I mean the old fronts, where you know insects have just demolished it, um, just wear and tear from just being in the barn, mice, um, yeah, other rodents, and so it's just time to clean it up, and it takes time. So, again, bees don't wait for you. You have to make sure that you are prepared and you are ready, or that you have bee friends that you can call on when you are in a panic.
So that one was a really, really dirty one, really nasty. Um, took a little while to clean up. Like this one, not so much. Actually, I don't even think we used this one, but see how, you know, it just deteriorates over time if you don't use it. So these were all fresh. I think we had these put together probably 10 years ago. I'm gonna show you how I put this foundation in. Okay, it comes with this like piece of paper, kind of like parchment paper on it. Take that off, and then if you can see these little tiny pieces of wire, they're all pointing up from here. Your lath is already off. I showed you before and most frames look like this they're just open slit sometimes it's closed on this side but open here um, so let me show you okay so this side right here where there's this is pointing up opposite end break off a little corner just a tiny little corner That just helps give you room to slide this into that slot right there. That's why it's really important to um, take your hive tool and get rid of all that propolis so that way you can get this in. It takes some maneuvering. Did I do this backwards? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I did it backwards. <laughs> That was the second one I did today. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to flip this over and show you. Okay. So, see where those little pieces of wire are? They slide right in to the top. That fits there. The foundation is right here, it's in that little slat. Everything's in, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it in place by putting that lath right back on top. So I'm gonna nail that in because these were nailed in. Um, so when you're starting from scratch, you can easy, I mean, I could give this to Brooke and he can easily just use the nail gun and put it back in. And so if any time like a lath breaks, um, you know, we'll start fresh and we'll just put those in. Um, but I find it fun. I don't know, it's kind of like soothing and like, to just take little things apart and put them back together. Um, I think I get that from my mother. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. There it is. Just like new. I may go over it and try to clean up any extra propolis that maybe I missed. Again, just doing that so the bees don't have that extra work to do. Clean it up as best as possible and it's ready to go. Do you wanna say bye? Awesome job, guys. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions, um, if you have any specific homestead questions or what you're working on. We wanna know what you guys are doing on your homestead this spring. Do you guys um, have big plans? Are you bringing chickens on your property? Are you bringing bees on your property? Or maybe even a little mini jersey? Tell us in the comments below. We wanna celebrate you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. I ought to go. Yeah, we might help. No, we're good. Great. You're going to take these in and chop, chop, chop. Oh, three full boxes Smell ready. Smell this, Daddy. To go. <laughs> One extra is always good.
girls did a great job.